Hello everyone. In this video, let's see the modern controls in Power Apps. Okay, let's visit this uh, Microsoft website. So you can see here uh, some article on this modern controls. Uh, so these are like modern, fast, accessible, and theming is available for this. And they have given a side by side comparison here. So here is a look for the same apps on uh, from the new versus classic controls. So this is this is the new one, and this is the old one here. If you see, so we have a little bit of uh, fluent way. Okay, so let's see how this how to enable this. Okay, so they also given one. Uh, articles in the Microsoft Learn here modern controls and they have given all this badge button checkbox date picker drop down info button link progress bar spinner uh, tabs text input text all this okay Let, let's first enable this modern controls here so this is my app and if you go to settings here you can see general display upcoming features come to upcoming features and come down so here you can see try out modern controls okay so now if you see our controls in insert these are all our old controls only okay now if i enable this one so i am enabling these uh, modern controls and in the insert you can see a section with modern controls badge button checkbox date picker drop down okay now let's uh, add one modern control here like say date picker okay i'm adding a date picker here this is a modern one and i'm adding one more uh, date picker this is a old one here okay this is a old one this is a new one so let's see how uh, this look and feel will be so this is a new one and you can see here the month and also the year and very easy intro so go today and if i select may 10th i can get like this and if you click this one you need to select you need to select if year it's like this and again we need to click ok so the number of clicks reduced here that's all with a nice uh, theme and the world is uh, one is having a little bit more clicks here so that is a little difference and if you come to properties we have display mode accessible position uh, something like this here okay and for the world controls we have many things here okay so here uh, uh, because it is in a still in uh, normal it's not a, in a uh, fully public uh, view so uh, they have given only a few properties here that's all okay this is a new date control let's see other controls and come to insert you can see here drop down is here okay let me click this drop down and come to the old drop down this is old drop down so you can see it's asking a data source you can give whatever you want items if i give like this and if i select a view or i if i selected dot dot k something here you can you can see here same like old controls having more properties and new controls okay so same uh, nothing much i think uh, it changed now uh, for now but only the theming is a little bit smooth now when compared to the old one and you can see here something like a tab list 
something uh, we can generate the tabs it seems uh, we need to assign a sharepoint list and it is showing like tabs here so in this we can give uh, whatever this particular fields we can edit and we can also add some fields so something uh, a when you when you have more tabs more tabs means more items it seems i think uh, let's go and check in this uh, sharepoint site so this is the site i'm using and here uh, let's go to site contents and i think uh, for this uh, list uh, we have only one item so uh, the, this list is test one if i add more items like say test two something i can select here and i'm adding here say and new test three save okay now let's come here and uh, go to the source and let me refresh and you can observe here you got three tabs kind of thing here okay and this can be like uh, uh, we can say this is like alignment is there vertical horizontal everything okay so medium large so many things uh, only few things i think they have given uh, horizontal so depending on these tabs we can show data it seems like uh, suppose if you want to see the data from the test one so here the test one means doc a doc p okay so ss okay so here you can add one form okay so you can add this form here below and give this data source and based on this uh, selection of this data uh, this tab the data we need to show here okay we can also do like that and i will delete the unnecessary things here let me delete this okay now i have few fields like uh, so i have these fields now i will i will relate this tab uh, new control to this edit form here okay so edit form we have one property here item so this item uh, suppose must come from this test one okay so this tab let's select this tab here the name of this is tab list one okay so the form one is this one here tab list one dot selected dot uh, we can have here all these uh, things selected doc a uh, something we can give like this but we need uh, here all kind of data right so test two test three so if you see test two here s s it is coming test three test three s s test one s s here you can see here okay here i think we have given all uh, s s right now i will change here edit and i will take this as no no here i will write save okay and let me refresh this particular database source data source now if i go like this and click test here ss test 2 no no and here also no no okay like this you can uh, make use of this new tab control to show the data okay and this is how it will work and let me see another controls how we can make use of so go to this insert uh, here you can see badge something like uh, something is a field ghost outline tint 
maybe something they want if anybody wants any shape kind of thing okay so exactly we don't know what this badge will help us and coming to the other things uh, we have info button here so it will give it is like some kind of uh, thing we can show in, in, in the it's like a I think a tool tip will be there right like tool tip maybe something like that this will give info if you go to the share point uh, so and select anything here any item you can see here info button so same thing similar kind of thing we can do with this uh, here we have some properties for this on change content everything okay so this content uh, account size uh, something it's like a, a small button itself that's it so now come to other uh, we have some text uh, this is a lot same i think check boxes are there now check boxes means uh, like um, uh, it's like uh, if you go to the properties you can see here something okay it's like uh, a checkbox and if you keep a text here let me keep a text and here in the text i will give checkbox canvas one here we have text box canvas one dot checked presently the it is not checked if i check this one it's changing true okay some kind of uh, simple things that's it nothing much i think in this new uh, controls but they are going to be a, like a foundation for the next upcoming controls and you can have a radio group something like this uh, i think they are they make uh, everything like a smooth uh, look and uh, come to this uh, uh, spinner something like a moving thing wait for something something we can write like that right this control and uh, progress bar it's like rounded square something it's like moving kind of thing if you see see okay like this you can keep uh, these things uh, it means like some function or some query is happening so like that it means success okay they have some properties we need to know uh, how exactly we can make use of these new controls and uh, thanks for watching In the coming days let's see uh, microsoft uh, will improve these whole uh, controls and it will bring nice uh, screens okay thank you very much